Hi, in this video I am going to um, review and do some water tests for my house. Um, my wife wanted to get a water softener and we need to get information about the uh, uh, how hard our water is, the uh, total hardness uh, and also the iron uh, which is right here. So we've been looking um, to see which water testing kit is um, is appropriate and we saw a lot of um, water testing kit online some of them are $30, $20 but we actually found one uh, that is being um, sold or yeah being sold at uh, Lowe's and uh, this is one of them right here is called H2O OK and this is um, about ten dollars nine something and it's made by lab tech so this is what it looks like at the back of it and this particular test uh, is everything that we need so it comes with this instruction uh, flyer I guess it's, it's in English and Spanish it has this uh, color chart for you to uh, compare with the test strips what color it is and it comes with two six tests and what they mean by six tests is this one right here uh, the six tests is the total hardness total chlorine alkalinity pH nitrite nitrate and then also the copper test there's two copper tests and then two iron tests okay so I am going to perform each one of these tests one by one so I'm going to remove the um, the uh, the test strip that I'm not going to use and uh, so I'm going to do the six tests first and which is uh, described right here okay Okay, so I'm going to fill the um, test tube all the way to the uh, edge line here and when you do this make sure that your water uh, line or supply is switched to the right usually to the cold water so you want to make sure you're not getting any water from your water heater which may have sediments and other things um, in the uh, water heater tank so you want to just get the purest source of your water which is cold water so make sure your tap or faucet is switched to cold side so that um, you get cold water as if it is coming up just from the city or from your um, whatever water filtration so source okay so let's fill this up oh one more thing make sure that you run it for about maybe um, 30 seconds to a minute to clear out all the um, previous water that may be in the pipe because if you had this in hot water or somewhere in between um, and then you just start filling it up there are still water in here or somewhere in the line that is actually um, not exactly 100% uh, cold water uh, it may be a combination of hot and cold so make sure you run this for at least 30 seconds before you start filling this up all right, so here we go. Okay, it's too much. Okay, so let's do that a little bit. Okay, so we got it there exactly at the line. Okay, so I'm doing the uh, six test first. So I open the uh, six test uh, test strip. package okay and here is the strip and um, make sure you don't touch or hold any of those uh, small testing pads uh, your hand should only be at the last pad here where your hand is uh, touching so it says dip for two seconds and remove with pads face up shake once to remove excess water okay so here we go one one thousand two one thousand face up shake once and 
read immediately read for total hardness chlorine and alkalinity and ph <clears throat> okay so here you go so for total hardness which is the first one we are at about 100 okay somewhere about 100 uh, so slightly uh, above okay and uh, for total chlorine uh, which is this one right here we're at about here so it's slightly elevated also yeah somewhere around between this and this okay so we're slightly high too and at alkalinity um, we are very alkaline which is supposed to be good but i guess we're supposed to be at okay level we are slightly higher right about here somewhere here not that bad so everything so far is slightly elevated and then the ph we are here slightly high too somewhere around here no no somewhere here this one right here right and for nitrite uh nitrite this one here wow we're below actually somewhere here nitrate um we're also somewhere below okay so that's how you measure uh the first six tests and oh i forgot the nitrite and nitrate you're supposed to wait 30 seconds so i think when by the time i was explaining and reading all this it was right about 30 seconds for us to be to read the nitrite and nitrate so that was okay all right so that's it for the sixth test and uh, let's do the the second copper test and then we're going to finally do the iron test next okay so we're going to do the copper test next and uh in the copper test there's only one testing pad and um so the instruction says um Put it in the water, swirl 10 times, remove the pad facing up, do not shake it, and wait 15 seconds to compare the color to this color chart here. Okay, so let's do it. So dip it, swirl 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Remove it, wait 30 seconds, no sorry, 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, okay. And this is no good after 30 seconds, so we're gonna have to measure it really quick. So, no, I think this is it right here. So it's the first one. Yeah, it, it matches more like the, the first one here, which is zero. So we have no copper. I guess that's good. Okay, so after 30 seconds, this is no good. And uh, that's it for our copper test. Okay, so we are going to do the iron test next. And uh, I already removed the pad from the iron test uh, packet and the instruction says uh, dip for two seconds remove face up shake once and then we have to wait 60 seconds okay so here we go there one okay so now we're waiting for 60 seconds okay it's already 60 seconds and we have to uh, do the measuring right away because after 90 seconds it's no good so according to this i'm actually off the chart I'm not even at zero. There is no iron, supposedly, in my water. So I should be like somewhere here, because it's not even pink at all. Yeah, so according to this, I have no iron. And um, since I'm not sure if I did shake enough, I'm gonna repeat the iron test one more time. Okay, so dipping for two seconds, one 1,000, two 1,000, remove, pat facing up, shake once, and wait 60 seconds okay so 60 seconds has expired and um, we're going to measure it 
and still the same actually it's even more white than before uh, but yeah completely off the chart uh, according to this test I have almost no iron at all in my water okay so that's it um, I've done all the tests except for a couple of tests that they have here that have the iron bacteria test and the hydrogen sulfide test they don't require any test strip basically you just follow the instruction fill it with the uh, fill a cup with water etc uh, so you can do those I'm not gonna do that in this video um, so yeah so so far this has been pretty easy and it is pretty cheap um, to get this lab tech h2o okay I'm gonna put the link in the description if you want to buy one from Lowe's um, I'm, I'm gonna try to also find to see if uh, Amazon sells this and then put the link at the uh, description also um, yeah, so if you find this video useful, please share it with your friend, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do it yourself.